Hey guys, it's your Bro Cobras, and welcome to my review for episode 11, season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So, the big episode arrived, and we met Fluttershy's, his brother, and her parents. Why not? Why not both? So, hmm, how to best describe my feelings about the brother? I hate him. I hope he never, ever appears again. Okay, so, cool. Yeah, we know he exists. Now, never, ever involve him in the show again. Never. Okay, Asbro? Never. Like, absolutely not. I would sooner rather see he flash sentry than this dude. Because his character was so annoying. <laughs> He's one of those... Was, you know... The character was so annoying. And, and, you know, the thing is... The character, you know... If you paid attention, you probably know someone in your own life... Who is like that. You know... Who takes advantage of our people... Well, walks over them, mm. 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 gets others to do what they don't want to do. Ooh. Ooh. It's so irritating. Mm. Mm. And his name, Zekul Breeze or Zekul Beck Freeze, or I came. Zeko Breeze, or... Yeah, Zeko Breeze. It has got to be the worst name I've ever heard in MLP. The worst. Worst. The absolute worst. Oh. The parents, they're just not, you know... They're not memorable, you know... <clears throat> no. No. Okay. Yeah, we've seen them. Now you can forget that they exist. Okay? Let's We all we're all gonna make a pact right now. This episode never fucking happened. Hmm. Fresh as a brother, he's utterly shit as a character. Or let's just forget he exists. You know, we'll acknowledge that Flourish I does have family. He, 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 but we're. N it, it, unless this Hasbro are actively trying to get everyone to stop watching, they will never include this guy again. So, yeah. Just. So let's, let's let's look at the episode, and I have to get through this quick because I, I, I thought this episode would be an up after last week, but nope. Somehow it got worse than last week. It got worse. How? How? How did? How did? How did you manage that, uh, Asbro? How did you make an episode worse than last week? So it starts off with Rainbow and Fluttershy visiting Rain, uh, Fluttershy's parents, and, and, and they get onto the topic of Fluttershy's brother, or. Her, who to Fluttershy's, well, I can't even say surprised, because she wasn't even surprised. He's, her action was like, oh, for God's sake, not this again. Because it's clear that this has happened before. And the fact that pretty much every one of the main six knew about this, because when Fluttershy and Rainbow go back to Ponyville, 
when pretty much the, in the uh, uh, few scenes from this point, and they bump into Pinkie Pie and Apple's back, back who, and Apple's back and Pinkie Pie instantly know what's going on, and so, oh, you can tell this has happened before. So, Applejack, no, I'm not going to put this on Applejack, no, she was trying to help, but when she said, just to Fluttershy, that, you know, Fluttershy should say something to the brother, to, uh, to her brother, or she's like, you know what, you're right, I, do Ooh. because apparently he eh, the mother is also is shy and the father is a pushover <sighs> also oh oh there was a lot of talk uh, when we first heard about the brother whether he was gonna be older or he was gonna be younger and it was revealed he's younger, but he looks older. What? How old is Fluttershy? Seriously, how old is Fluttershy that he is younger than her? Not bloody likely. Not bloody likely. I think Hasbro made a huge mistake making the brother younger. Or because his, you know, his build doesn't look like a younger pony. The other Iron Fluttershy is way. Uh, Iron Fluttershy and the main six are way older than we thought they were. In which case, how are they in high school in Nequestry Girls? Well, you know, consistency has bro. Oh, do you even know what that means? Can you be a little consistent, please? Please! He's you. So irritating. So he's younger, but he looks older. Seriously, he looks about the same age as Big Mac. What? How's that? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. Unless he went through a huge growth spurt. Now, I'm not going to rule that out. He does not look younger. Er, er, if you're going to have a pony who looks, who's a younger sibling into a pony you've already introduced, who's, have them look younger. That is the whole point in, in, of, of having a younger person, you know? Say if there was a, uh, let's see, uh, I'm 20, say if there was a, I have a ten-year-old cousin. Say if my ten-year-old cousin was sitting here. Her, her. You wouldn't know he's my ten-year-old cousin because he'd be smaller and younger than me. He wouldn't be taller or or walking around. I'm like freaking... And, and, I don't even know. So, you're telling me... Now, it's not uncommon for younger siblings to start are taller than their older siblings. I myself am taller than my older brother, but everyone, if you met us in real life, if you met me and my brother, you would know I'm the younger sibling, because I look younger. Her. 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 Doesn't help my brother looks old as shit. But he does not look younger. He does not look younger, okay? Hey, so, Hasbro, you made a huge mistake. And, and they can't even correct it. They can't even say, oh, uh, it's just a figure of speech. He's actually older. No, he can't. He, he's younger. It's done. It's written. It's in. in it's on in, in the web and on telly. He, you fucked up. Good job, Hasbro. Very good job. Um, so, yeah. When, when Fluttershy talks to her brother... Or, or he moves out of uh, his parents' house. 
Flourish. And pretty much the next scene, Flourish and Rainbow are talking. She's asking Rainbow, did she do the right thing? And pretty much instantly, here comes a big fat no! Oh. Oh, because our brother walks in and moves in with her. Correct the flash shot. She, he, he really showed growth in this episode. Oh, you no, know, she wasn't, you know, the shot. She was, she was probably the main star of this episode. Her and Rainbow, of course. Yes. Yes. But Rainbow was more was also a hazard and I'll get to why in a second. And but Flourish I he, in this episode showed how much she has grown as a character or since we first met her. And you know she's she lays down the law. Uh, uh, you can stay here but you have to get a job. And then the next morning, Flourisha brings her brother to Carousel Boutique to work for Rarity. And inevitably, it goes wrong. So Rarity asks Zeko to dye some fabric for her. Zeko doesn't do that. Instead, he gets animals to do that. It, and then says, "Ah, oh, the uh, talking animal stuff. That ain't genetic." Yeah, your father er, er, works with clouds, and your mother er, apparently plants flowers. Why would it be genetic if neither of them can do it? You stupid idiot! Some things are genetic. Some things aren't. Here's a hint. If your parents can do something and you can do something, it, there's a good chance it's genetic. If your parents, if you're good at something but neither your parents don't want to have a freaking clue how to do it, then it's not genetic. And if you even think that, you're an idiot. <sighs> so, inevitably, he. He, I, uh, I guess he quit before Rarity fired him because she looked like she was about to fire him. And then Farshai brings her brother to the castle. And Twilight's like, I need a Pegasus pony to clean my w these windows. For forgetting she has her own pair of wings, you know, to do it herself. Oof. And Twilight is... He's, you know, the ultimate clean pony. He, why? Th this made no sense whatsoever to the toy. This is nothing like Twilight. She would have done it herself. We all know Twilight would have done it herself. She has wings. Things. She does not need a Pegasus pony to clean those in her windows. She can do it herself. That's the beauty of, of the advantage of you making her an Alatorn! So, inevitably, he, he, they leave Spike he, in charge just to make sure her, her Fluttershy's brother does his cleaned windows. But that doesn't happen. He tricks Spike into doing it. it and even if Twilight hadn't done the, it herself like she would have, of Spike would have done it anyway. Or, here's an int. You know, the other pony who lives in that castle. Oh, I can't remember her name. I haven't seen her in a few episodes. What was her name? Oh yeah, Starlight! She would have done it. This, this Twilight part was just stupid. And then, and then, N N Flourishai gets that's her brother a job with Rainbow. First of all, 
with what happens in the break between those two in throughout the episode, would, would, Rainbow would not hire him. Okay? She wouldn't do it. Even if if Fleurja is is like a sister to, to Rainbow, oh, Rainbow would not have hired that guy. Hey, the only reason she is the script. Ah, so irritating. Hey, and that the MLP he, he staff seem to think think all the ponies are morons. Hmm. Hmm. It's like how earlier Rarity said it, it, the dying of the fabric was so was very simple. Oh, oh. Here's a hint. Here's a question. Why didn't she leave that to, with that to Sweebel? Huh? Why not? Sweebel's always looking to help her, her teeth. She would have relished in doing that. 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 So. Oh, that. Bullshit. Twilight, like I said, would have cleaned those windows herself. And Rainbow would not have hired Fluttershy's brother. Simple. Done. And just like that, I've... He proven why he has broke things. Yes, all the... The ponies are apparently morons! So... Oh, after her flash eye tells her brother that he has to move out, Oot. then he has a mental breakdown, mm. then there's a song, admittedly it's a, it's a, it's an okay song, you know, it's not one of MLP's best, but you know, it's not a terrible song, you know, it sounds a bit like, eek. Like a mix of, you know, the the tune sounds like a mix between "Make This Castle a Home" and "May the Best Pet Win," which is ironic because it was the first duet of Fluttershy and Rainbow since "May the Best Pet Win," at least of the one, unless there's one I'm forgetting. Thing. But I'm I'm talking specific duos, and I'm talking when they sing amongst the group. Oh. So after that, at at Spurshersburg gets his confidence back. He's able to who complete he uh, main school or something like that. I'm guessing in. By that and his cutie mark that his his talent is hair or styling. Why not? And the episode then ends with Zeko saying he feels like he can do anything except find a place, and then he's like. But I can stay here. Hurry. You, you mum, alright? For a few days. Jeez. So, the whole episode was pointless. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. And fuck, fuck it. Negative ten. Negative 10! The worst episode ever. Worse than Rarity Investigate and worse than last week. Eek. Somehow worse than both of those. Somehow worse than the Christmas episode in May. Hey. Hey. The worst episode ever. If it's something you like, good for you. But I will never watch this episode again. And. And. And if. And I'm. Pretty sure I won't be alone with that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't bother leaving comments telling me how you felt about this episode, because I really don't want to know. Oh. Oh, I just have to go watch something that's bearable, like any other episode, or 
some other show. Until next time, thanks for watching, and until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.